The first step undertaken in this project is creation of approach roads to sites of operation. Base camp is set up at a suitable location near project site, followed by site office. For every tunnel to be constructed, operating sites are identified and set up by installing necessary infrastructure, machinery and equipments. Before actual tunneling process starts, false tunnel section is excavated and RCC lining is done and then actual tunnel excavation begins. Actual tunneling starts with portal construction with size greater than actual tunnel size. Pipe for polling with high pressure cement grouting is done for roof stabilization. And then Actual phase drilling starts with twin boom jumbo drill machines, followed by charging and blasting with explosive drilling. Blasting is carried out from center in small units for a distance of 10 to 15 meters, creating pilot holes. Eventually, the full shape and size of the tunnel is achieved. Now, repetitive tunneling method begins. Geologists and surveyors analyze class of rock after every round of blasting operation and find Q value and RMR value. Depending on the class of rock, rest of tunneling steps to be undertaken is formulated. Geologists and surveyors collect data with help of profiler machine and plot them on paper. Charging patterns change with change in rock class. Based on this data, drilling and blasting pattern is prepared. Drilling and blasting is carried out as per design pattern. These along with charging pattern is the heart of successful tumbling. It is followed by defuming for about 30 minutes. Water is sprayed all over blasted surface to settle dust and to reveal cracks and fractures. Next step is mucking. Once muck is removed using excavator, geologists and surveyors again evaluate region, provide support system design and collect data for the next blast. Primary shot cretting is done with RoboArm shot cret machine. Rock bowl drilling and grouting is done as per rock bowl design given by geologists. Depending on rock class, plates are fixed and bolted and predefined amount of torque is applied. Rock bolts are then tested for load bearing capacity after 15 days. As per requirement and based on geological evaluation done by geologists earlier, preliminary support structures like wire mesh or lattice girder 
may be erected after which final layer of shot grating is done. The process is then repeated for next round of blasting as per the requirement. Monitoring of critical aspects with instruments such as extensometer, pressure cell and load cell are carried out after every 10 meters of tunneling. If there are any variations or problems, adequate steps are taken to correct them like changing supports and so on. Following this methodology, tunnels 6, 10 and 11 are being constructed from both ends while tunnels 9 and 12 are being constructed from one end. In case of tunnel construction from both sides, when 10 meters is remaining in between, a central hole is drilled from one side to the other to check and maintain alignment. Then one side is closed and digging is completed from the other side. For rock class 3 and above, the tunneling is done first with heading and then in the same process, benching is completed. Once tunnel has been excavated from one end to the other, entire tunnel is cleaned. Geologists evaluate and survey once more. Gantries are introduced into tunnel if possible, from upward direction to downward direction. Geotextile membrane and waterproof membrane are fixed to a certain no seepage water comes after lining. Kicker gantry pours concrete on two sides, creating side slabs. Perforated PVC pipes are embedded into them. Then kicker gantry moves forward. Main gantry is then fixed, which pours concrete by pumping and completes concreting process. Once entire tunnel is completed, kicker gantry and main gantry are dismantled. After that, floor is washed and cleaned. RCC concrete is poured. In this way, kicker arch and invert concreting are completed. All the portals are finally stabilized with 